Welcome back to Stats Impacts for Friday, October 6th of 2023. All right, we're going to talk about some uh, minor league baseball awards while Rebecca's getting into a pack of cards here. And we got a five. So she's going to do that five times over there. And then she will pick something out of that box. One, two, three, four, five. Number seven, we've got Heritage High number from 2022. Let's get that open and get cracking. All right, in the minor league this year, the prospect of the year was Jackson Holiday. You can go you know, put that over here real quick and show you. You can go on to minorleaguebaseball.com, MILB.com, and you can look at all these things. They also had, I don't know where to find it on here, but the first and second team. But Jackson Holiday, a minor league prospect of the year, hitting prospect. Uh, Drew Thorpe is the pitching prospect of the year for the Yankees. And then they have the all MILB team on here. Um, but then they have the breakout player of the year is Junior Caminero. Uh, debut of the year is Ethan Salas of the Padres. Uh, best single game performance was Colt Keith. Uh, he's a third base, second baseman for the Tigers. Um, defensive play of the year by Drew Jones, but I hear he was injured a lot this year. And defensive player of the year was Pete Crow Armstrong, and I think he did get up to the big leagues in September. Team of the year was Norfolk, Norfolk Tides, uh, mouthful, Norfolk Tides of the Orioles Triple A team. And yeah, there's a whole bunch of other stuff. Best alternate identity, Amarillo Calf Fries. Some of those minor league names are just incredibly strange. All right. And those are all those awards for the year. Now, get open in that pack and let's see what we got, Rebecca. All right. Claps, nothing going on much there. All the wild card series stuff, we're all 2 0. They were all done last night. The Rays lost to the Rangers. The Phillies won. Uh. Diamondbacks won, and the Twins won. All the other teams just, I don't know, didn't show up to play. So who knows? Brian Anderson. And the Marlins are out, too. They lost to the Phillies. All right. So I haven't looked. I don't know when the next series starts. Maybe like tomorrow or something like that. But Brian Anderson looks like he may be... The last thing he was with was with the Brewers. But it doesn't look like... Alright, yeah. That's where he's at with the Brewers, so... 318 at-bats, 38 runs, 72 hits, 9 home runs, 40 RBIs, 1 slow base with a 226 average. Not so good in 20... 23 season. Let's see what else we got. Marco Gonzalez. Marco Gonzalez. We haven't opened any of this stuff. We kind of like doing it once in a while. He's with Seattle Mariners, like I said there. Four wins, one loss, 5.22 year rate, 10 games, 10 games started, 50 innings pitched with 34 strikeouts. And he ended the year injured. So, see if any of these pan out. Jake Arietta. All right, Jake Arietta. He's for some reason said the last time he had stats was in 2021. So when this came out last year, I think he's uh, retired and everything. So let's look at his career stats. 115 wins, 93 losses, 3.98 ERA, 285 games, 279 games started. 1,612.1 innings pitched with 1,433 strikeouts. Yeah, he ended his career with the Chicago Cubs. So that's the last team he was noted with on baseball reference. Kevin Ploiecki. Kevin Ploiecki. Doesn't look like he had any 2023 stats here. So ended with the Pirates. This one shows the Boston Red Sox. The last one was the Pirates. 1,268 at-bats, 119 runs, 298 hits, 
22 home runs, 137 RBIs, two stolen base with a 235 average. Yeah, not very good for his career, so not really getting anything good today. Jonathan Diaz, rookie. All right, Jonathan Diaz. Angels there. Yep, still with the Angels. Did not have a very good year. No wins, no losses, 10.29 ERA, four games, one game started, seven innings pitched with four strikeouts. Yeah, he was probably down with Salt Lake City this summer, not doing much in the big leagues, very little stuff. Tommy Romero, rookie. Tampa Bay did not show up to play, and neither did the fans. People are talking about that. They said poor attendance. Attendance. And stuff. So Tommy Romero, we'll see if he was in the minors this year. Uh, he's with the Washington Nationals. One win, one loss, 10.8 ERA, four games, two games started. April one innings pitched with seven strikeouts. Let's see what he did in the minors this year. That's where it said he was. Alright. Alright, Tommy Romero. Rochester, AAA, and here we go. Tommy Romero this year in minor league. Five wins, seven losses, 5.44 ear rate, 36 games, 10 games started, 87.2 innings pitched with 82 strikeouts. And he was with the Rochester Red Wings. All right. Nothing, nobody's doing very good on these. Corey Seager. Oh, he's with the Rangers there, but I think he changed teams. Nope, he's still with the Texas Rangers. 477 at-bats, 88 runs, 156 hits, 33 home runs, 96 RBIs, two stolen base with a good 327 average. All right, he goes up there. All right, you might want to put him in the middle because we don't have anybody else there. Heliot Ramos, Ricky. All right. He is there, it says San Francisco Giants. 56 at-bats, 5 runs, 10 hits, 1 home run, 2 RBIs, no stolen base with a low 179 average. No good. Let's see if he was in minors this year doing anything or if he was just injured. I'm assuming with that kind of information, he was probably in the minors. Elliot Ramos, yep. Let's see. All right, 2023 minor league baseball stats. 244 at-bats, 46 runs, 74 hits, 14 home runs, 51 RBIs, 9 slow base with a good 303 average. Right over there, we're going to put him there just because he did well in the minors, but as far as the big leagues, no, nah, not really. Mitch Garver. All right, Mitch Garver. All right, he's with the Texas Rangers. 296 at-bats, 45 runs, 80 hits, 19 home runs, 50 RBIs, no saloon base with a 270 average. He's just a part-time player. We're going to put Corey Seager in the middle along with Mitch Garver because they totally dominated the Tampa Bay Rays. They Tampa Bay just didn't show up, and neither did any of the other teams that ended up losing. It's just not that good, but... Uh, Corbin Carroll, he's been pretty good for the Arizona Diamondbacks, and of course... Uh, the Minnesota Twins, uh, Royce Lewis, I think that's who it was. He had two home runs in the first game against the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, Rebecca wasn't too happy about that. But let us know what you thought and what you're looking forward to in the playoffs. And please comment, like, and subscribe. I will be back on Monday with more stats and tags. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.